Hello everyone, it's me Miss Bubbles and I'm back with another video. The Nintendo Indie Showcase just finished a few hours ago and what do you know, the eShop hit us with amazing sales once again. I'm here today with three price points for you to choose from, so grab your Switch, grab your wallet, and let's burn some money! The first game is Hades. You are the immortal prince of the underworld and you wield the powers and mythic weapons of Olympus. Your objective is to defy the god of the dead as you hack and slash your way out of the underworld in a roguelike dungeon crawler. The game has a unique art style, amazing voice acting, and beautiful environment for you to immerse yourself in. I have picked up this game a few months ago and I really plan to play this. I've seen that it has amazing reviews, so if you're into roguelike adventure style of games, definitely pick this one up. Second game on the list is Terraria. This sandbox title gives you total freedom for creativity. You are the leader of your own game. You can just play for the crafting and building aspects of the game, or you can go on a journey to defeat dangerous enemies. You get over 300 enemies to defeat, 20 characters to meet, and 20 biomes to explore. The sky is your limit. You can also play this game in multiplayer. I have this game on PC and I really enjoyed it, and I do plan to get it on the Switch because I think it is perfect for a bed gaming session. Third game on our list is Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. You play as Oliver as he embarks on a journey through a world inhabited by new friends but also dangerous foes. Oliver obtains the wizard's companion in his hand and he travels to a rich fantasy world and goes through many challenges along the way. The combat system follows a turn-based style and has you getting help from cute familiars. So I have bought this game on my Switch after I played Nino Kuni 2 on PC, but the thing is I did not really enjoy it. I only have about 5 hours clocked in the game. It's mostly because of the turn-based strategy kind of combat, but if this style of combat is up your alley, definitely look into it because the price is amazing for all the content that you're getting. Game number 4 is Tales of Vesperia. This game is a return of a fan-favorite Tales game that has accumulated so many positive reviews. You go on an adventure to discover the fate of two friends traveling through separate paths that intertwine in an epic adventure. You have access to many DLCs, updated graphics, and new minigames and boss battles. I have personally never played this game, but I know a lot of people have given these games very positive reviews. So if you think that I have described a game that you might like, Please check it out. Fifth game on our list is Pine. This title presents an open world action adventure. The story takes place in a beautiful world where you play as a young man named Hugh. You will have to explore, trade, and fight your way through a vibrant world filled with enemy creatures that are smarter than humans. You can choose which species you want to side with and which you want to fight. I have picked up this game and I'm really looking forward to it. It's been under my radar for a while, but I couldn't find the full price justifiable. But right now for only $10, I think it's worth my time. The sixth game on sale is This War of Mine. You play as a group of civilians trying to survive in a besieged city. They struggle with lack of food, medicine, and constant danger. You go through a day and night cycle and need to maintain your hideout. This can be accomplished by crafting, trading, and taking care of your survivors. This game has also been under my radar and I definitely picked it up because I think it is worth the price for all the content that you're getting. And the complete edition of this game offers you a lot more DLC. So if you are interested, go check it out. Seventh game on our list is Gris. This game is an experience where you play as a young girl in her own world. She is lost and you need to guide her as she deals with a painful experience in her life and goes through sorrow. The title brings a world design that is full of detailed animation and elegant puzzles as well as platforming sequences. I actually have this game on my PC but have not tried it yet, however I have seen the positive reviews that this game has accumulated so that is why I'm sharing it with you. If you are into puzzles and platforming games, look into this one because it is really beautiful. Eighth game on our list is Moonlighter. This is an action RPG with roguelike elements. You play as Will who is an adventurous shopkeeper. Will dreams of becoming a hero and thus you get to take part in many elements such as shopkeeping, defeating enemies and bosses, meeting villagers, crafting, enchanting, getting loot, and so much more. Again, this is another title that I have on my PC, but I feel like it suits a bed gaming session, so I did pick it up and I look forward to it. The ninth game on our list is called Crossing Souls. 
This game is set in 1986 California when a group of friends discover a mysterious pink stone that allows them to travel between two realms. So you get to control five characters, each with their own unique skills and combat styles. Your job is to solve puzzles, face powerful bosses, and figure out what the heck is going on. The 10th game on our list is Bastion. This title presents an action RPG experience with a reactive narrator who describes your actions as you go along. So get ready to explore more than 40 hand-painted environments. You also get to upgrade your weapons in order to successfully battle big beasts. Once you are done, you get access to a new Game Plus mode so you can continue your journey. I have been eyeing this game for years now and I think it's time to finally get it. For only $3, I don't think I'm gonna lose anything. And same for you, if you think that you would like this type of art style and this type of gameplay, why not try it for only $3? I did not expect for another massive eShop sale to happen today. I was actually in the process of editing my Cozy Grove review and, and what do you know, there's a massive eShop sale. So I thought I would share different games for different people. I know that you guys enjoyed my previous one and I hope you did enjoy this one as well. All I wanna say as always is to stay positive, stay bubbly, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.